Hello besties, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new here, I'm Melissa and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on this channel. Today we are going to talk about all of the pieces that I desperately was searching for for the fall. I kind of ran out of my basics. I had a ton of gaps in my closet so this is a haul where I just got the pieces that I didn't have and because this video has been pushed back like a couple months now, <laughs> I meant to do it before fall even started. I have accumulated a little more than I normally would because I basically had no fall basics and now I'm good to go so let's just jump right into it and I did want to mention I live in Florida so my fall style is a little bit less cold weather friendly than some northern states but I do have some really cute pieces and some will work for northern states I also love to dress really comfortably fabrics really matter to me sustainability matters to me and I love neutral colors so that's kind of the lens I look through when I'm looking for clothing but the first thing I want to talk about is my absolute favorite it is this top from Aziza this is such a unique piece to my collection and this was the one investment piece that I made for this fall. Well, there's another investment piece, but this was like the actual investment piece for fall. This is a top that I can wear for any event during fall and winter. So it's going to be my go-to like blouse. Anytime we have a birthday dinner, an event, maybe Thanksgiving, I'm going to put this one on unless I decide to wear pajamas. But this top was technically custom made. I'm pretty sure it's called the Emmeline top. I will link everything down below because I don't remember the name of this. But Aziza is a brand that's based in Chicago. It's woman owned and she makes these really voluptuous <laughs> clothing with lots of volume and I love the color of her neutrals. I was able to pick this color and she made it to my dimensions. She doesn't technically do plus sizes. She's a straight size brand but she does custom clothing where she can make it your size. I believe up to a 3x but her clothes run big because it's very voluminous. In fact this was the same designer that I wore to a wedding recently but I had to mention it. This is a silk blouse. It is a bat wing. It's a gorgeous color. It has like a balloon sleeve and I have to say their quality is amazing. Their stuff is expensive but it is so well made. You can tell a very talented seamstress made this piece and it will last me a literal lifetime. Super good quality fabric. It's lined. It just has so many features and clothing that you don't really see anymore from most brands. <laughs> Even the good brands like Eileen Fisher, Nordstrom, Saks, anything you can find there, not as good as quality as the construction of this. So I had to mention this first and get it out of the way. If you are looking for like a neutral, investment piece to have that's made custom to your body dimensions definitely check Aziza out. I can't wait to wear this all season. This next piece is definitely my second favorite thing or tied for first place, but it is the trench coat, the classic trench coat from J. Crew. I have always wanted a trench coat. I don't know if it was Inspector Gadget that just made me obsessed with the idea of a trench coat, but I've never been able to have one here in Florida because it's just too hot. But I was like, you know what? I can wear a trench coat in winter. Like nobody cares. So I finally got one and this was on a crazy sale at J. Crew. So if you're looking for a trench coat, definitely check them out. This one is oversized. So if you're a 4X girly, maybe even a 5X, you could probably fit in this. I would say size down one size because J. Crew typically for me runs small. Like their 3X doesn't always fit me. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. So definitely size down on the trench coat if you want it. I obviously haven't worn this out yet. It's still too hot in Florida, but I've worn it around my house. I just love it. It's so pretty. And it has all of those like fabulous little features that are on a trench coat, like the little band around the wrist. It has the big tortoiseshell buttons that are so cute and it has a tie waist Now what I loved about this was that you can kind of push it to the side and wear it open But still tied up or you can button it wear it tied or just leave it completely open You can really do whatever you want with this and I love the look of an all-black outfit under a trench coat I just think it looks so chic and so pretty and like comfortable You could just wear a tank or if you're in a really cold climate just like a long sleeve black t-shirt some leggings or a pair of black jeans and the whole outfit is made by this trench coat so I had to mention it I don't know if they're still running the sale but if I see active coupons for anything like from the site themselves I'll try to put them down below so you can save money if you need these items if not just enjoy the beautiful neutrals <laughs> and I have to say I was a little bit disappointed where this was made considering the price that it was from J Crew. I thought they were a little bit more conscientious with the materials they choose so this is an all cotton one but I'm definitely going to continue to look at the more sustainable websites like Eileen 
Fisher, Hackwith Design House, and all those different places where they use like actually sustainably sourced and like ethically made products. But for now, this is what I have and this will be well loved. This video is gonna be kind of in random order, by the way. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the Made Well, just classic V-necks. In the video, I showed you the white one that I had on, but I also got it in black and gray. The black one I got in a 4X, so I could knot it and all the other ones are in a 3X, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a 3X. I just love the quality of Made Well Basics. I find them to be my replacement for Target Basics. They used ethically sourced materials, <laughs> if I'm right, and it's all cotton, so they're super comfortable and Made Well Basics last me a while. To be honest, Target Basics last me a while too, and so do the Made Well ones. So these aren't crazy, crazy things thick so if you're looking for a super thick basic it's not going to be this this is on the more thin side it's not see-through but it's thin and that's what i prefer just being in florida so keep that in mind you would definitely have to layer if it's super cold where you are but otherwise i just love these they're so nice and madewell has really been standing out to me as a basics brand lately another item that i got from j crew that is absolutely fabulous i need to take this one off the hanger is that cashmere wrap that i already mentioned in previous videos it's so soft and comfortable and lovely i find it to be really large for being one size especially on my plus size body it fits great I love it. I mean, if you want super oversized, then obviously you might wanna look for a different one if you're my size or larger, but this one fits me amazing. I think I'm gonna remove the tag, but the tag does say it was made with the good cashmere standard. I don't exactly know what that means, but that makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> about the fibers. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, I've never had a cashmere wrap before. And this one is also on the thin side, which again, if you needed a super thick, like luxurious one, this would probably not be it this one you can like see my fingers poke through but it is so soft and so lovely so i'm gonna get a great use out of it and especially if you're in a warmer climate this would be an amazing piece to have in winter to just drape over you and you can even use it as like a blanket if you're traveling <laughs> definitely a basic i needed i have no wraps in my wardrobe at all and i feel like this is something that was missing this next piece is actually from made well so it's another amazing basic it's just a denim shacket it's like completely cotton it's just again a denim shirt it's not as thick as a denim jacket which is why I really wanted to try it out I wore this in one video already just to give it a try and I honestly love it and I have this idea for it <laughs> I got these little glass crystals online like the rhinestones and I want to kind of bedazzle this just like Good American did with their crystal collection. The only reason why I didn't get theirs is because there's polyester in the blend, whereas this is 100% cotton and polyester makes me sweat, whereas cotton doesn't. So I'm excited to give this a try. I love how it has the splits on the side. I just find that so flattering on my body shape. And also the buttons are so cute. They're just these little white buttons, which I like because I feel like on a lot of denim lately, there's been like these off brown metallic large buttons, which I'm not really a fan of. I like that these are white they're just really cute and they blend in it's just a straight up medium wash with no distressing so if you wanted to distress it you could i kind of like that it wasn't distressed i feel like a lot of denim jackets these days are distressed which i do love but i wanted something that wasn't distressed it fit really well i did have to size up though and get a 4x just so it would have that like oversized feel that i wanted the 3x was just too small on me for that oversized fit and all these websites that i'm mentioning today where i got these clothes they all had sales running when i picked these pieces up so definitely wait until you see a sale on these websites websites to pick up the things you want if you can wait because I feel like they're running sales constantly. This piece is going to be perfect for running around, doing errands, going on my little friend dates, even just going on basic dates with Nick outside. Anything that requires me being outside when it's cold, this is going to be perfect for me. This next basic that I got is based on a trend that I saw come out this fall and I'm normally not a super trendy person but I'm definitely going to wear this beyond this trend cycle. So it is the sheer jacket from Eileen Fisher. It's in a silk fabric it is so lovely it's a long line and it has splits on the sides so it can kind of go it'll cover your curves but it like flows over them so nicely and again it's probably going to be a little bit longer on me because i am 5'4 but it's still a long line sheer jacket i've just been obsessed with this sheer trend i have loved it even before it was trendy this fall on the runway but i just find it so comfortable to wear and sometimes in the fall it's like cold in the morning but then it gets hot during the day and then cool at night so this is something that i could wear that would probably keep me comfortable all day and you can just pair it with anything because it's such a basic and i wanted to show you i actually thrifted a piece that was so similar to this they're both from eileen fisher this one is a tiny bit different of a style it's more of a waterfall cardigan 
So here's the waterfall front and it's about a foot shorter than the other one. So this is definitely more of a jacket size, but again, it's the sheer material and I got this in the summer. So you can definitely find these pieces from seasons that have already passed in thrift stores. I found mine on ThreadUp just because I don't have the best luck in thrift stores so far, that may change, but ThreadUp has been nice for me to buy pre-owned clothing and I'm so excited to have this. This is definitely something that I would wear in the winter when it's like, as it's starting to warm up again, this would just be like the perfect piece for that or I can wear it anytime it really doesn't matter <laughs> but that's what I was envisioning with this piece when I thrifted it but I just wanted to mention it so you could see that you could buy pre-owned versions of some of these things that I got today I also got two more of the longer sleeve basics from Madewell so this is just the v-neck t-shirt and this is just a crew neck long sleeve shirt this crew neck long sleeve shirt is kind of see-through and that's what I wanted I kind of wanted to wear like a black bra under it just for like a mood you know just a look <laughs> so the these definitely are see-through for these pieces. And if you're not about that, then definitely don't get these ones in particular. There's so many on the market, specifically Eileen Fisher makes really thick tees from what I've found. But these were also made with the ethically sourced cotton, which we love, and they're super affordable. And these were just classic basics that I needed in my wardrobe no matter what time of the year it was. But it just so happened that it was time for me to get a new white V-neck. This next piece I wanted to mention, I actually bought this last fall, but I just think it's such a good basic for fall I wanted to mention it anyway and unfortunately it's not sold anymore but there's a lot of stuff on the market like this so I'll link anything I find down below but it's just a shiny silk v-neck tank that's a little bit oversized now mine is really crinkly because I had it in the bottom of a pile of all of these clothes in my dresser I forgot to hang them up after I tried them on for the clips so they did get <laughs> kind of scrunched up so whoopsie there is a v-neck in the back i've worn this in videos already it's one of my favorite tanks it's so comfortable and it's just something that i can really utilize throughout the entire year but it's one of my favorite colors for fall like this nice bronze color super beautiful i think it works really well with my skin and my hair right now i can layer this with anything else that i got and it'll be super cute i really hope this brand which i think it's marie portois or something like that i hope she brings out other colors of this but i don't know if she will because i think she uses dead stock she does something to where she doesn't put out huge runs of clothing because she's more of a slow fashion brand now you may be wondering to yourself melissa these are all shirts where where are the pants? Where are the dresses? First of all, I didn't get any dresses, so go me. <laughs> I really thought about the clothes that I actually needed, and it was tops and leggings and jeans. I couldn't find any jeans so far that I like to put in this haul for you, so I'm just very carefully selecting the pieces that I actually like. So if you have any jean recommendations, let me know. I'm looking for something either in a regular size that's cropped or a petite jean. I want to try a pull-on jean, but I don't want it to look dated, and I do like a little bit of of. I'm totally blanking. I like the pieces that are weathered. It's not weathered. What is it? Frayed? Why am I totally blanking? Wow, that was wild. Anyway, <laughs> let's jump into the next piece. Now, two of these are kind of misses, so I think I'm going to return them, but I just wanted to mention them anyway because I was wearing them in the video in case you're interested. So the first one is the cotton legging that is from Eileen Fisher. It's made with an organic traceable cotton, and I got the 3X. Now, in a shocking turn of events, these are a size too big for me, and now she doesn't sell them anymore. So... She has other leggings on her website, but just keep that in mind that her bottoms, not all bottoms, but these leggings specifically run a little bit big. And I did notice that they are like pretty see-through. I don't know if you're gonna see it on camera. It just wasn't a total win for me. They're super comfortable though. I feel like for around the house, these would be absolutely wonderful, but I have dogs and I know my dog hair is gonna stick all over this. So I don't know. I think this isn't something that I'm absolutely in love with. So I need to just return it and keep looking for the perfect piece for me like the other pieces are. And another pair of black leggings I tried on were a kind of non-athletic leggings that I found from Skims. These are in their 4X. However, they run small. So unfortunately they don't fit me and they were perfect in the waist and tummy area. It's just they ran small in the thigh area. So I was so bummed because she did a really good job at making sure that the waistline wasn't too high. These are a low cut legging, which I really, re not a low cut, like a mid. With these leggings, it kind of scoops and down in the front, which is what I wanted because I find that leggings go so high up on me, it's wild. So I needed something with a little bit less length. <laughs> and I love how 
this felt. They felt so nice and soft. The construction looks pretty good. There's no waistband, so it's like it has some sort of elastic waistband, but it's not one of those that digs into you at all. It's basically like a seamless one, but they're just too small on my thighs. So the hunt still continues for everyday leggings and non-athletic looking leggings, which are basically in the same category. Lululemon is my favorite if you're trying to buy athletic leggings. I've talked about them on my channel all the time. I know they're expensive and pricey, but they last so well and I get so much use out of them. Like <laughs> they're 100% worth it for my lifestyle. And I wanted to talk about two comfort pieces that I got. These pants are from Skims and they have the cutest little danglies at the bottom. There's little heart rhinestones and it's just the cutest pair of loungewear. And after <laughs> I bought this before I went on my sustainable adventure, I got these a while ago actually in the summer. So I think it was in the beginning. It might've been in spring even. I don't know. I got them a long time ago and they fell in my closet so I didn't see them. And then as I was doing this haul, I found them. So I'm like, perfect. I'll talk about them now. But I was talking about in a different video how I wanted some kind of more like spicy loungewear. Not spicy, that's not the word. Just like different and cute because all of my loungewear super like oversized boyfriend t-shirts and just really worn out shorts like it's not cute loungewear it's just like clothes that I've had for forever <laughs> this isn't something that I would probably recommend unless you're trying to take cute pictures make a cute video or just have a cute pair in your life to wear on a whim I don't know how well these are gonna hold up but I was gonna mention them anyway just because I found them in my closet and they're a nice cotton material with a little bit of spandex so they have good stretch and they're just so cute I really like them. Now this next pair of comfy pants are from Eileen Fisher. These sweatpants, one, I love the color. They're so cute, but they're in a cotton material, which is so, so comfortable and lovely. However, they run big. Definitely size down ones if you want to try these lounge pants. It does have a really long waist area. <laughs> like, do you see how long this is? I can't even put it all on camera. They go up really high on me, which normally I would have returned something like this, but I haven't found any sweatpants with a lower rise for me yet. So this is the best I can do. I really love the material. That's why I'm going to keep it. And I'm not going to wear these out. These are just strictly going to be like during the fall and winter when it's cool in my house. I've worn them now, but sometimes they get a little bit hot, but I still wanted to mention them in case you are one taller than me and two are in need of really comfortable and good quality sweatpants. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about before I end the video is something that I think I forgot to try on, but I just got more cropped tees from Madewell, just one in a cream color and one in a charcoal color. I got them in a 4X, so they would be super oversized crops on me. I just think it's such a cute look. I find it to be a really wearable and comfortable casual outfit for me. It's definitely more athletic, like I would wear this going on walks, but I thought I would mention it anyway in case you are planning on doing some outdoor walking and hiking. They're just so soft and comfortable. Love the cotton material that Madewell uses. And I love that they go to, up to a 4X, so I can even find stuff that is oversized. So now that we have run through all of these beautiful pieces, I wanted to talk a little bit more about fashion here on my channel. I used to do fashion hauls very, very often and I went through a lot of clothes. My body did change a lot the past few years, so that was one of the reasons why I went through a ton of clothes. But now I decided I am going to let myself invest in investment pieces that I've been wanting forever, but just a lot slower. And I'm not gonna be doing as many hauls as I've done in the past for clothing. I'm really just trying to find my favorites. Like I'm tired of just trying things for the sake of trying them when it comes to clothes. I mean, that's what I'm doing now to find my perfect pieces. But if I know something probably isn't gonna fit, I'm not even gonna order it. Like I don't wanna waste my time. I don't wanna waste the shipping. I just got super overcast outside. So if my video is looking really cool now and not as warm, that's why. <laughs> But if you have any fall and winter recommendations, especially for us Florida girlies where we can't wear super hot things for most of the fall and winter, please leave your recommendations down below. I would love to read them and see what you guys are loving. I hope this helps you find some better basics for your wardrobe if there's any pieces that you're missing. And for my next fashion video, it's probably going to be a dive into my closet, making outfits with all the pieces that I already have and giving kind of like style inspo for super casual, but trying to look polished outfits, if that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Stay safe and give yourself a little love today. Bye.